Well, as you can probably hear, it's a bit of a chiff chaff fest here at Clipson Old Quarter. Good numbers of butterflies out at the moment. In fact, I've just seen a peacock butterfly just at the back of camera. And many people are reporting their earliest dates for various species of butterfly this year, but while that may be the case of butterflies, I think that the vegetation is still maybe up to certainly a week to a fortnight behind. This seems more like the third week of March to me than the first week of April. In fact, we're just about to enter the second week of April. But this little video is a check-up video. You may remember the Purple Emperor caterpillar that I rediscovered at the top up near the centre tree here at Clipson Old Quarter a few weeks ago. One that thought we'd lost before, well, after Christmas I think it would be. But anyway, I re-found it. So today is a check-up to see where it's moved to because it will almost certainly have moved and relocated to the side of a board because the ones I have at home are all doing fine. In fact, one of them, as we stand here on the April the 7th, is already entering its fourth instar phase. It started the quite lengthy molting process which Purple Emperor caterpillars have. So this one should certainly still be L3. And let's hope it's still here. We're very lucky at the moment. We're in the middle of a fine period of beautiful anticyclonic weather, nice and warm during the day once it's warmed up from rather too cool a night. Some places even getting touches of frost, no doubt. And while we have this beautiful weather, the weather people can't resist in itching to tell us that it's going to break down at some time. They're even extending the weather forecasts to say that make the most of the next week because then it starts to break down a little bit. They can't let us relax a little bit and just enjoy this glorious weather. At the moment, here at Clipson Old Quarter, there are signs of new growth and 2025 is beginning to show up from the remnants of 2024 in terms of vegetation growth. The silver birches are starting to come out into leaf now. Hawthorn is already fully out in most instances. Everything else is still very slow and the normally quite early goat sallows are quite firmly in bud to be honest. So I think if our little friend at the top of this track has moved, it'll be to the side of a new board. The last time we saw it, it was tucked up in a leaf scar and that sort of beautiful mottled coloration which Purple Emperor larva overwintering in such sites tend to be. They green up once they get near it or next to a board. So, we'll continue to the chorus of chiff chaffs. I wonder what the colloquial term is for a number of chiff chaffs. Well, this is the tree that the lava was on. And I need to be careful, but it was on this branch here. The marker is just at the end of that branch. And caterpillar was just a little bit along. Indications are at the moment that it's moved and it shouldn't be too far. They don't usually go too far. So on this branch here down to where it forks down there it should still be on that branch but it'll be within this immediate area. Well, it's definitely moved. 
that with its silken pad and it doesn't appear to be on this twig here in fact I know it isn't because it's now at the end of this one which means it's gone from there up there down there onto here and to the end and it's changed colour too so all in all I've swapped it there got about two and a half feet at least it's still here I'm glad about that well there on that leaf scar near my middle finger you can see a faint whiteness and that's the silk remaining from the lava silken pad and where it spent all of the winter completely exposed i put a photo in or a video grab of the color it was when i refound it again a few weeks ago but anyway it went up there and came down here then came along this twig here and then if we look at the end that last bud there it is and typically it's now greened up to the colour it should be and it matches that bud this is why they're so difficult to see even when you know where they are you can lose them just by turning your head away for a second and then turning back again And the flowers are just starting to come out on this goat sallow. No sign of any leaves yet on any branches. The buds are just starting to open. So this one is behind those at home. And it's only behind because the buds aren't open yet. Maybe by the end of next week or this coming week, this one will have fed for the first time a few more photos to add to the collection you can never have enough photos at least I don't think so and I also think that you can never make enough fuss about these caterpillars and this species of butterfly especially for someone like myself that's had a lifelong interest in butterflies, well, it goes back to about 1975-76. It was Gary Wilson that got me into butterflies. All those years ago and all those years since that we were purple emperorless in Nottinghamshire, at least most people thought so. You couldn't get the information then that you can get today very very different a lot more secret societies than there are today although there are still some secret societies today it's great that this lava is present and is geared up to having its first meal just want this goat sallow to just open up a little bit more and over the next few days it should start and do that but I like to check on these things. I check on lots of things, you know, Platybunus pintorum, glowworms, purple emperors, and a whole range of species. It's something I like to do. I like to monitor things. It's all right finding things and then just say, no, I found it, and then go and look for something else. But it's good to, to monitor species. Well, I think so anyway. And I like to monitor purple emperor larva. And that's what I'm going to continue to do.